And as a follow-up of our exclusive interview, our viewers and followers might remember how one of the most influential winemakers and prominent, trust me, worldwide, got interested in doing business in Georgia and how Gocha Chedze uh, and Luik Pasquet, the founder of Liber Pate, the company which produces the most expensive wine in the world, have become partners and are planning to work on the joint project together here in Georgia. Yes, Georgi, I, I remember how Luc Pasquet promised you um, in your exclusive interview and our viewers and followers in that interview, he would be back um, with a much more detailed plan on how to make Georgia, this time the country of the most, most expensive good. wine as well. He kept his promise, he came back to Georgia, uh, but I won't say more, this time Maria Madamia will focus on further development. But uh, you remember his uh, quote or Phrase Georgian Georgia and you know, Georgian wine is a sleeping beauty, like paraphrase from Russian Spasha Krasavica. <laughs> you will find the answer on, on this in this oh, story. Oh really? As well. How know. how is Georgia a sleeping how beauty? Georgia <laughs> is a sleeping beauty. Okay, let's see. <laughs> Solo tengo soledad Y si ya no puedo verte Porque Dios me hizo quererte Para hacerme sufrir más Exactly three months ago, we were telling you the story of reviving a long-forgotten high-quality grape variety and one of the most expensive wines in the world, Liber Pate, which completely turned the wine industry upside down and offered the product to the market at a price that for some companies and wineries might be even equal to the annual revenue. We managed to talk to the protagonist of the story and the creator of Liber Pate. This is why we were the first to announce the plan to create an expensive premium Georgian wine led by Gocha Chaitze, the founder of Ascanelli, and the legendary Luik Pasquet, the world's most expensive wine producer. Maybe the Georgia is uh, uh, sleeping beauty, and, uh, and uh, you must wake up because it's, uh, it's a fantastic country, and uh, I would like to visit you quickly to, to see what's happened about the wine. You know, Georgia, it's uh, the most important country in the wine industry because uh, the wine is born in your country. You have many, many uh, autochtone varieties and we cannot uh, test your wine and we, it's impossible to test your wine. We would like to discover your wine. We, we have a potential uh, to make a beautiful brand. It's uh, incredible because you have the history of the wine. So it was very interesting to discuss with uh, Goja to understand what is wrong with uh, Georgia with the potential you have. The French winemaker fulfilled the promise given during the interview. Today, he has arrived in Georgia for this very purpose and mission. He managed to travel with us, visit and outline what he likes and what he will use in order to turn Georgian wine into a world brand and take the industry to a height it has never seen before. This will be the Georgian history of Liber Pate, the foundation of which is being laid right now. <laughs> For the moment, the, the first step is to discover Georgia. So we travel a lot. We try to understand the, all the technique, all the terroir, all the varieties in Georgia. It takes a long time. We need to come back in July. We need to come back maybe in September to understand during the harvest. And when we, when we will see everything, when we start to understand the Georgia, because it's, you know, it's, uh, it's uh, the country where every, everything is born in the vine. So it's difficult to, you have a lot of varieties, you have a lot of uh, terroir. It's like a treasure. So it's difficult to understand everything in one week. So we need to come back and come back and come back. And I'm, I'm sure we can do something. According to the one of the most expensive wine producers in the world, the problem of Georgian wine is not its quality, but incorrect marketing and strategy. 
He says that Georgia is counting on the wrong markets, for example, only neighboring countries and not Europe. Now is the time to correct these mistakes and take the right steps. Luik, together with the Ascanelli team, will create a new wine which will be presented under the brand of Liber Pate, but will be based on Georgian roots. It is extremely difficult to convince customers to buy this wine at such a high price, but Luik managed to do it. This is why now is a historic moment for Georgia. We will finally achieve what was just a dream until now. I do not want to set expectations, but my gut tells me that this goal is achievable. More specifically, Louis Pasquier, the owner of Liber Pater of French wines and the winemaker himself, plans to cultivate a vineyard in Georgia with the introduction of modern technologies and management. Gogac Heidze, the founder of the partner company Ascanelli, visited UAE by special invitation, where the presentation and tasting of Liber Pater wines took place. Gogac Heidze and his partners personally met with the owner of Liber Pater, and the idea of a joint project was born, which envisages the production of a completely unique wine. You have everything to have a success because you, you are the country where everything starts. You have a beautiful vine, you have beautiful terroir, you have all the knowledge to make a good wine, but uh, you don't push, so I don't know why. We cannot decide to plan today. Okay, we need to wait, to come back, to find the good plot. And I'm sure we have a good cooperation together, but it's take a time. It's, you know, uh, vine is not an uh, electronic uh, product. You need to plan, to, to find the good soil, to plan after we need to have a vinification. So maybe we need to wait five or ten years before to have the first bottle of wine. So it's not like that, it's not industrial, it's not industrial product. For almost five years now, business media has been covering business news in Georgia, the region and the world economy. Of course, we have always been interested in the 8,000 year history of Georgian wine, its present and its future. For the first time, I'm telling you a crucial part of the history of Georgian wine, when the foundation is being laid for the cultivation and production of high quality products in Georgia with completely different European approaches and vision which will bring us closer to recognize European wine quality, modern technologies and knowledge. There is a tangible prospect that the name of Georgian wine will conquer completely new peaks in five to seven years' time with the cooperation of Liber Pater and Ascanelli. Today, French and Georgian winemakers are taking the first steps on this path in Georgia. We too continue to tell the Georgian history of the most expensive brand in the world with cautious optimism and joy. The Sleeping Beauty, as Louis Pasquier calls Georgian wine, will soon wake up.